Oh my gosh. Is that really bending that? Holy crap. That's legit bending the amp. No way. Oh, I didn't expect that to happen. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm pulling out my front seats. And uh, let me show you this, this is nuts. When I installed this amplifier, it was held in by one strip of double-sided tape. And as I was trying to pry it up, that tape stuck so hard that I bent the bottom of the amplifier. <laughs> I seriously bent it, look at that. All it was was like one strip all the way across. Wow, did that stuff ever stick? Oh guys, this is disgusting. <laughs> oh, grody. Oh, I made a big mistake. Oh, no. All right, let's get this out the door. So maybe a couple weeks or a month ago, I pulled up my driver's floor and noticed that there was water underneath it and it rusted. So what I did is, I don't have any insulation underneath there and I think that is a major problem. So I do have a piece of foam that's going underneath here like a, um, it's like a textured non-water absorbent absorbent foam that's going under here but I put uh, I put rust converter on here and a rust encapsulator and it's already coming through my friends I I don't think this is a battle I'm gonna win but there's one mistake I did make and that was to put this batting back in on this side I don't know why I only did it on half the floor and not the whole floor. I think because that side was the one that I was on and this, this uh, heat, heat shielding or whatever you want to call this batting that comes with the factory floor um, is the reason why it rusted in the first place. Because this stuff that's underneath just about every factory floor uh, holds water. And then when it gets wet, it sits there between this floor and the actual uh, metal flooring and it just rots. It stays wet forever and just completely rots right out. And when I bought this new flooring, um, this piece was actually new uh, years and years ago, it came with this batting and I put the batting in on this side only. And we're about to pull it up and find out why you should never ever put this batting in your vehicle. This stuff, it's like a, I don't know, some kind of a material. I guess it's like a, a, a sound and, and a heat detonator. But look at what happens is it gets wet and it sticks and stays wet. Oh, my friends, I don't want to know. What the heck am I going to do? I am so done with this stuff, man. I am sick and tired of seeing this go on with my van. I sealed that stuff up from the bottom, man. I get, it's not going through down here. We put seam sealer over top of everything on the bottom side that uh, as best I could. Oh man. I've been fighting rust on this van since the very first day I bought it. This van has done me very well. It doesn't owe me anything, it doesn't. <laughs> Because of this van, I've been five years without paying rent just to have a place to sleep and shower every night, all because of this thing. But this rust battle is starting to really, really take its toll. But there's a lot of things on this van on the rust side that's starting to give way. The guy got some, some body mounts that are really starting to rust from the bottom side and the front. Um, there's the two main body, found, two body mounts, one in this corner and one in this corner. 
where they connect to the top inside there and they are rusted right out. Like I can stick my finger through there. Like here, I just pulled a piece off of it just now. <sighs> what am I gonna do with this van, my friends? <laughs> if you've been around my channel, you've watched me. You've watched me chop all the bottom rockers out all the way around. You watch me do up all the floors. I'm definitely feeling a little bit of frustration today. You know, there's only so much you can do before you start to kind of, you know, lose excitement for continuing this rust fight. You know, I really kind of wish that maybe when I started, I could have sourced a van that didn't have so much rust on it. I really wish that I, you know, I would have had more money at the beginning. And that's why I bought this one. This was in my price range. If I maybe would have spent double that amount, so I paid 6,500 for this van five years ago. Maybe if I would have spent 12,000 at that time, I could have had something that wasn't gonna completely rust apart. So the problem was this didn't rust during my time of having it. It had rust before I even owned it. So the problem is once it's got the cancer, the cancer just gonna keep spreading and keep spreading and keep spreading. So, you know, if you guys can, if you guys can find a van that's rust free from the beginning, or luckily you, maybe you live in a place that rust isn't a thing. Like I hear there's some parts of the States like Arizona, stuff like that, where, where vehicles get sun damage, but they don't get rust like this kind of rust, like into the core kind of rust. But uh, I'm feeling a little defeated on this van, man. Like I love this, I love this van through and through. You guys know that, but this rust battle, I don't know how much longer this thing has before the body mounts give out, before my feet start going back through the floor, or there's rust somewhere else in this vehicle that I haven't noticed yet. I'll tell you, I'm a little frustrated today. This is a, uh, this is a lot. Look at this floor. Oh my gosh. I just thought for sure we were gonna sand out some, some rust and stuff like that and paint it, but that side fared a lot better than this side. So on that side, Sander, the subscriber of mine that, that did all the bodywork and welding in there, Sander cut a piece out of another vehicle and welded that whole piece in there. This one here, we did a little bit of patchwork. If you find another Ford Econa line van that looks just like this one, that has a six liter diesel or a 7.3 liter diesel that has the barn doors on the side with no windows, has to have the barn doors, that's mandatory. If you guys can find one that looks just like mine, I want it. Please, you guys, I know I only have access to so much searching out here. Like if I just search vans, sometimes it only shows me whatever comes up, but maybe you guys are in an area, maybe Arizona or something like that, that has things with no rust out there and you know. I have a lighter. I could go out in the back bush and have a nice big van fire. <laughs> I just went online and watched the video of my rust repair in the back country and took a look at what we did on the passenger floor. We only welded a small little section on the passenger floor, but the rest of it, we left alone. Um, there was some rust on it, so we just put some of that rust converter on it and then painted over it, put some body filler on some spots and we're done with it. So that rust on the passenger floor should have fully been cut out. That whole floor should have been chopped out just like the driver's floor back then but um, I think we only hit the backcountry ready to do my bottom rocker panels and to do my driver's floor. Um, but yeah, kind of sad that we didn't do the entire passenger floor because I wouldn't be in this position here today. And the sad part, part about that floor in there right now is, is it's chewed up that body mount that's below the, below the passenger foot 
really, really bad to the point that I'm not sure if I could salvage and weld around it again. So right now, because I'm frustrated, I don't, I, I'm gonna cut the floor out today because I got the tools, I got the welder, I got the time, I might as well do it while I'm in the shop. So I'm gonna chop the floor out of that thing today, but I, I seriously think I'm gonna see if I can find a perfect replacement for my van. It's sad because on the outside, it looks so good. Like I spent the other day, if you watched the video the other day, I cleaned up the whole thing. It's looking nice and shiny, tire dressing on. Um, but yeah. And I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. Why don't I just hurry up and get the ambulance done? <laughs> uh, the ambulance has a lot a lot more time before that thing's ready to move into like probably another year or two. And to be honest, I never, I never intended to sell my van. I love the cargo van. Absolutely love the cargo van. It's got a great size factor for the trail. It's a good living space. I don't mind the low roof, not even for a single second. So my, in, my intent was to keep it, you know, to have two and maybe use my low roof cargo van for some trips and then maybe take the ammo out for some other ones. Yeah, I was gonna keep them both. And uh, I don't know how I feel about getting rid of my home. I am super attached to my van and I think if I could recreate my van in another one, that'd be pretty cool. Holes right through this thing. <laughs> I am so done. So we're gonna have to cut this one pretty big. Probably gonna cut this one up here, down through, and then uh. I think we're just gonna chop her here. I should probably cut all this out, but you know what, man? I'm done. I'm not fighting with this anymore. Let's go. I've given up on this thing. So the body mount was unweldable too. You couldn't weld to the body mount whatsoever. So I did a tack weld on top of the body mount and then all the way up this side to hold the body to the plate that the body mount was on. Maybe this will buy up another, another couple of years maybe. I feel better about that. I'm really sad that I couldn't salvage the body mount, but the body mount wasn't even attached to any of the metal on the floor. It was crumbling all the way around it. I got frustrated with my home today. And it's not very often I get to that point where I'm like, I'm done with that van. I just wanna get rid of it and move on. But deep inside of my heart, I will fix that thing until I can't fix it anymore. I love my home. It's given me everything that I have in my life right now and it doesn't owe me anything. If anything, I owe my world to that van. So if something breaks, I will fix it. I will fix it until I can't drive it anymore. I will fix it until things start to break to the point that I just, it's not drivable anymore. As of right now, I'm gonna bandaid up those body mounts. 
I'm gonna band it up everything that I can to keep this van rolling just a little bit longer. Why? Because that's my home. I love my home. <laughs> okay, guys, I gotta sleep in the shop tonight. What time is it now? I think it's about eight o'clock. That was a long day. Well, what time is it? It's eight o'clock. That means, Cruzy, you gotta go pee. And then uh, I'm gonna curl up in the back of the van. So I'll see you guys in the shop tomorrow. Well, let's finish off that floor. And, uh, and maybe do something else kind of cool. I have a repair I need to do to my van and I've never done this before in my life. So this could be a fun experience. Come back tomorrow. You never know. Maybe I'll take care of something else really cool. Okay guys, we're done. Go for a few, Chris.